Hi, I'm Jeff Tackney. I'm Jen Tackney. And we're, we're Team, Team Tackney. Tackney. So we're going to talk about August market update. This is, and we're actually not going to go through, we're going to talk about facts and what we're experiencing in this market versus pending, yeah. sold, you know, year over year. Jeff, we recently got a call from the person who called you to ask you about the market and then now you're famous. Oh, God, yeah. We were interviewed by a reporter for a, a local newspaper. Orange County Register. Okay. There's an article. The we can say the name. Okay. Read the article. And Jeff's quote. Yes. So Jeff talked about that we're still in a slight seller's market. Yes. That there's definitely been some where we've lost some buyer demand. Similar time to December 2008. of 2018. Yep when all of the media was talking recession, 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 in 2019, we had some buyer demand, it, it was gone. So I would probably, we're seeing about 40% less showings. Mm -hmm. uh, showing time is a service that we use and there's 40% less buyer showings this month if we're compared to the spring of this year. Yeah, and a lot of it has to do with the, the um, raise in interest rates because since the beginning of the year, rates have almost doubled um, across the board. So that has had a pretty dramatic uh, effect on buyer demand. And so with lower demand, that's going to uh, affect the supply. So supply year on year is actually relatively you know, close to what it was last year. It's, the days on market are increasing. So what used to take two to five days to sell is now taking two to three weeks to sell. Sometimes, you know, up to 30 days on the market for, you know, for homes that are still priced, priced, you know, right. Um, they're still taking a couple weeks to, to sell. And one thing that we're seeing that we did not see last year and probably didn't see in the last two or three years is fallout. So about 12% of escrows are falling out. So we currently have three listings that we have fallen out of. One of them we've fallen out twice. Mm -hmm. Another one we've fallen out three times. And um, the, another one we fell out once. So why are escrows falling out? S sometimes buyers, one experience was a buyer was quoted a higher interest rate. Uh, lower interest rate, and then their payment went up how much when they were in escrow? You mentioned $1,600 a month. $1,600 a month. So, uh, what they thought they could afford, all of a sudden they could not afford with because they did not lock in their interest rate. Now, there have in some of our past videos, we've interviewed a loan officer, mortgage loan officer, who talks about a lock and shop. So, you know, there are entities and mortgage companies who are working on making sure that doesn't happen for us because it's devastating to tell a seller that the buyer has canceled their escrow within their 17 day allotment of where they're allowed to cancel their escrow and feasibly get their deposit back. Those are hard conversations to have. We mm -hmm. had someone else who lost their job and that's why they backed out of the escrow. Another one couldn't move their retirement funds. They were going to utilize the majority of the house was going to be for re with their retirement funds, and they could not move it, um, you know, without some heavy tax um, implications. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, escrow retention is is uh, tough right now. So that's just just the facts, you know. And I and I think it is. What do you think? It's the buyers are scared. They're they're nervous that you know, they don't want to buy high, right? And have it, so if, if the market's kind of in this downward slope, a touch, they don't want to be here and have the opportunity to have purchased here. Yeah, but that's a whole different subject because when you have interest rates that are climbing and prices that are dipping um, payment-wise, it can often be offset, you know, they can be the same. Uh, high price with a low pay, uh, interest rate is sometimes cheaper on a month to month basis than a lower price with a high interest rate. So, yeah, that makes sense yeah, to but, make sure that buyers are educated. Yep.
in that way. So, and I think that initial shock of the interest rates mm -hmm. going up also slowed down buyers a bit. Yep. You know, in that same token, we are putting, and this is just our experience over the last coming off of the spring months into these summer months where traditionally, and the reason why the Orange County Register reporter called Jeff was, it's the first time since 2013 where price actually dropped from May to June. So previous to that, housing prices would increase. May's price, June's price would be higher than May's price. Mm -hmm. And this year, June's price is lower than May's price. So that is why the reporter called to get kind of a pull, get a pulse on the market. And we'll see July's pricing come out here in the next couple of weeks. It'll be interesting to see because I have a sneaking suspicion that it's kind of leveled off as far as, as price is concerned because that initial shock and awe to the buyers experienced, like, hey, I'm gonna hit the pause button, that's starting to fade and we're seeing more buyers out in the market um, and purchasing uh, the properties, you know, at their list price and not, not below. And a lot more activity in open houses. So I think that we got really excited this last weekend because we had a lot of people come through open houses. We were looking forward to receiving a lot of offers and they came through and they're looking, but we didn't get the offers that we anticipated from those buyers. So that's where I think that they're just being very, very cautious. We're seeing a lot more contingent buyers as well. Mm -hmm. So some of our colleagues um, will tell us that they're kind of, you know, it's completely different where in March, you would not see someone who was writing an offer without their home sold yet or without their home even being listed yet. And now we're seeing that. So we're seeing a lot of move up buyers who haven't even listed their home yet because they want to make sure that they have a home to go to. And there's just not as much buyer competition right now. So we're seeing a lot of things that we hadn't seen um, in quite a few years yep. happening and not as many rent backs. So in spring, we saw where sellers were renting back for sometimes up to six months. They were getting free possession, 45 days, two and a half, three months. We're not seeing that either. So we're definitely, the market is definitely what they call shifting mm -hmm. uh, and it's different, but we still overall do have a housing shortage yep. and there's still buyers buying. And, and sellers selling and it's becoming more and more neutral and that's where where we're at we're still in a slight slight sellers market but it's entering into that neutral territory and nowhere near a buyers market uh, yet but we're starting to just get into a normalized neutral real estate market thanks for watching that was our August 2022 market update our pulse on what's happening in our real estate market and remember, if you like what you saw, remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. You can also leave any comments and questions that you'd want us to answer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.